Today I'm going to show you how to get the Fabulous 5 Eye Patch, Golden Sailor, Cannons and Wheel, X Marks the Spot, Eye of Reach, and Prosperous Captain Sails. Alright, first things first, uh, before we get into the actual video stuff, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. That is a completely insane number, and I, I cannot comprehend how many people that is, which I think I said that at 5k, but... I don't even, I don't know anymore. It's insane. And seriously, just thank you guys. And I am working on a 10K video, uh, though it is going to be a bit, especially with all the anniversary stuff going on, but I, it is in the works. Also, if you want to help me with that, if you would leave any Sea of Thieves tips you have in the comments, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, I'm making basically a sequel to the 5K video. So um, yeah, anyway, that is in the works, but let's get to the Marauders Medley event. So essentially this event is the kind of first phase of their five year anniversary event. There's gonna be other stuff happening after this event, pretty much immediately after, but for now, this is what we've got. Now, this event will last from 10 a.m. UTC time on March the 6th and will last until March the 16th. All start and stop times are at 10 a.m. UTC time on the stated date. Now this event is interesting because it's kind of a new-ish system for them. So essentially, the event will be split into five two-day periods. Each two-day period, which will last for 48 hours, uh, by the way, we're 12 hours into the first one already because we had no warning this event was happening. So there are only 36 hours in the first period. Now, each period, there will be three challenges, an easy, medium, and hard, and all three challenges will be centered around a old Sea of Thieves update from years past. Now, each challenge will give you an amount of gold along with renown, scaling based on the difficulty of challenges. Easy challenges giving 1,000 gold and hard challenges giving 5,000 gold. So still not tons. Now, generally, all of these challenges aren't too much of a pain. The one thing is the time constraint. Now, completing any one challenge from that 48 hour period will get you one point towards one of the big rewards. Now, you can only get one point per 48 hour period, which means if you want all five rewards, you have to complete at least one challenge in every single 48 hour period. And once the 48 hours are over, no redos. Once one of the periods is over, you cannot progress it, which means you will not be able to get every reward. So if you want everything, you have to make sure you're getting all of this done. Now we'll get into all the challenges, but if you want to track them, you can go to the link in the description or go into your menu, pirate log, season eight, events, special events, and the Marauders Medley. Now from this menu, you can look at all of the challenges, all the rewards, all the stuff, it's, it's all in here. All right, now let's talk about the big rewards. So for completing any one period, you will get the Fabulous Five eye patch, which is a brand new eye patch. We've never seen this one before. It's essentially just a day one reskin, but with a gold V, which if you don't know, V is the Roman numeral for five. Now completing a challenge in any two periods will get you the Golden Sailor Wheel, which was originally obtainable from the fourth anniversary. If you complete at least one challenge in three different periods, you will get the Prosperous Captain Sails, which were a reward from Sea of Thieves' third anniversary. Maybe noticing a theme here. Then if you complete at least one challenge from four different periods, you will get the X marks a spot I have reached, which was originally obtained through Sea of Thieves' second anniversary. This is getting pretty old now. And then the fifth and final reward for completing a challenge every single 48 hour period is the Golden Sailor Cannons, which were originally obtainable from Sea of Thieves' first ever anniversary update. So these things are old, they're four years old and yeah. So the oldest items do take the most effort to get. For you, you could have everything and only need the Fabulous Five Eye Patch, in which case it's super easy for you to get that. Or you could need just the cannons, which means you'd have to complete every week. So depending on how many anniversaries you've previously taken part in, this challenge could be at entirely different difficulty levels. All right, now let's talk about the timelines and challenges. The first set of challenges is Curse Sales Resurface. These challenges center around Curse Sales and they will last from March 6th until March 8th at 10 a.m. UTC time. That's the next 36 hours, by the way. Now, these three challenges require you to hit skeleton ships with cannonballs three times. That's the easy one. Sink a skeleton ship. That's the medium one. And sink three skeleton ships. That's the hard one. So remember, you only need to do one of these. Easiest way by far to do this is just find a server with a skeleton ship cloud. Go there. Shoot a skeleton ship three times with cannonballs. You're done. Easy peasy. The next 48 hour period is Hunter's Call Rehooked. This will last from March 8th until March 10th, 10 a.m. UTC time. Now we don't know specific numbers, so we're gonna have to guess a little bit, but they require you to catch any fish, unknown amount, but basically just go fishing, which if you don't know how to do, go to your fishing rod, cast it into the water, 
wait till a fish bites, hold the opposite movement key that it's going. And then when it stops struggling, you just hold left click and reel it in and just keep doing that until you catch it. If the line is shaking, that means you're doing something wrong. You're either probably holding left click while it's moving or you're holding the wrong direction key. The medium challenge requires you to catch nighttime variants, which basically means if you're fishing at night, you might catch glowing fish. We don't know how many you need, but probably not too many. The last one requires you to catch a stormfish, battlegill, or devilfish. The fact that it says or makes me think you only need one. Now for this challenge, the easiest one to catch is a devilfish. So for that, you will need grubs and then just to go to the devil's roar, which is the eastern chunk of the map. Fish with the grubs and you should catch a devilfish. If you see a fish that isn't a devilfish, right click and it'll pull the line up and you'll keep your bait. But once a fish bites, you'll lose it. For the third 48 hour period, it is Tall Tales Retold. This will last from March 10th until March 12th at 10 a.m. UTC time. The easy challenge requires you to reach a tall tale checkpoint in any tall tale. The medium challenge requires you to complete any tall tale. And the hard challenge requires you to read three journals in a tall tale. Now you can do whatever tall tale you want, but Fate of the Morning Star would probably be the most efficient to knock all of these out. Though if you haven't unlocked this, Shroud Breaker will work just fine. Which, by the way, Shroud Breaker can be started right beside the Mysterious Stranger in any tavern. Fate of the Morning Star, which requires you to complete a variety of tall tales before it, can be started from the Fairy of the Damned. I won't get into specific journal locations because there's so many, but just Google your tall tale and then journal locations and you should find them pretty easily. Pretty much every single tall tale has at least three. The fourth category is Sunken Kingdom Revisited. This one will last from March 12th at 10 a.m. UTC time until March 14th at 10 a.m. UTC time. The easy challenge for this one is visit a siren shrine or treasury. To this, look on your map and just look for these weird like watery symbols that say either shrine or treasury above them. Go there, swim down, you'll find one. The medium challenge is defeat Ocean Crawlers or Sirens. Basically just defeat the enemies you find in the shrine. And the hard challenge requires you to hand in pieces of coral treasure to any outpost. For this, I would recommend going to a treasury, swim down, get in there, defeat all the waves of enemies. This will also get you the Ocean Crawler and Siren kills. Collect the treasure, give them to the mermaid statue, pick it up, and then head to an outpost and sell. We don't know how many items this is, but I'm sure a treasury will get you more than enough. And then the fifth and final period is Sea Forts Reclaimed. This one will last from March 14th at 10 a.m. UTC time until March 16th at 10 a.m. UTC time, which is also the end of the event. For this one, the easy challenge is to visit any sea fort. Look on your map for any six of these sea forts. There are two located in every zone, and there are these tiny little squares on your map. For the medium challenge, you have to defeat the captain of a sea fort. Basically, fight through the phantom waves until you get to a guy with a name. Beat them, and you'll get this one done. The hard challenge requires you to open a sea fort treasury. Simply take the key the captain dropped, go all the way down to the bottom floor, and open the door and you'll get this challenge. Now that is all of the challenges. Remember to get everything you only need to complete one challenge every single day and you have to complete one challenge every day. You can't get more points towards the big rewards. You'll only get extra gold and renown. So it doesn't matter if you complete all three challenges or just one challenge every single day. As long as you complete one challenge every 48 hour period, you will get all of the rewards, but you have to do it every single 48 hour period. I think that's pretty much everything. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.